Hey guys, today I'm going to give you another small space hack, and this one is how to make your paper towels that look like this look like this. Good morning everybody, it's Robin with Creativity RV, and today I'm going to tell you about a hack that I figured out using these compressed paper towels. Paper towels are a necessary part of life on the road. You need them. You know, things get dirty, most of us wipe off our plates to save water before we wash them. You don't want things to go under your slide or get in your components, but it's hard to find places to store these, right? So, you can buy these little compressed paper towels. They're like this big. Now, these are not new. I'm sure some of you have heard of these. For those of you that haven't, they come in a pack of like 100 or 500. I'll put the link for them below. You put some water on them, and they basically turn to about this size. And then you just pull them apart, and they end up like this, okay? So that's very cool. They take a lot less space to store and they're handy. So I always have a pack around. I buy them in a pack of 500. Now, a normal paper towel is about two cents a sheet. These run about seven cents a sheet, but you can reuse them over and over and over, and you can use them for a ton of different things. Here's the cool thing about these. They're made from 100% wood pulp, so there's no chemicals in them. You can use them to filter your coffee. You can use them to make nut milk. You can use them as a face wipe. You can use them as a wipe wipe, but I would recommend using like two. And you can use them to scrub things. Look at this. They just don't break. They don't break. I'm going to show you some stuff here in a second. But basically, they're like, they're like a little thin washcloth. And you can rinse them and use them over and over if you want. They also, you know, can be just wadded up and used as a fire starter. In fact, someday I'm going to show you how I really make them into fire starters. Now, there's a bunch of different things you can do with these, like I said, but today I told you that I was going to show you a hack. The one thing that I did not like about these is that if there was a mess that I needed to clean up and I was storing them, I would have to wet it down, wait for it to expand, some water would drip away, and then I would have to pull it apart. I wanted them to be handier, like a paper towel, where you could just rip it off and use it fast when you needed it. And I didn't want them to be too wet, so in case I was trying to clean up a wet spill, it was more effective. So this is what I figured out. Now I'm going to show you guys the actual hack part of this, because you can just keep these like this, you know, like a, a little coin, all the time if you want. But when you need them right away, you have to unfurl them one by one. So what I figured out is that you can actually do a group of these and have them ready to go in your cabinet, and they're drier than they are when you first make them. So here's how I do that. I take a little container. You know, I use a mason jar. You can use anything as long as it has a lid, because you're going to want to shake it. And I put in about that much water. This will give me an entire jar, really, full of these cubes. And then, ready for the fun part? Here, watch. See them growing? And then I do like to put a lid on it and give it a shake. Then... I just do however many I want. See, these are these are still a little bit wet. So I'm going to add in, you know, just a few more. I want to get the uh, moisture just right. And I'll give it another shake. You know, make sure that they are all getting the moisture they need. And then I just store them without the lid on in my cupboard. Because what happens then is they dry out just the right amount. So here's the new one, right? And then here is an old one. And I could really like take an edge and do that. Let me do it again. I'll show you guys. You just take an edge and then there's my paper towel and it's not wet like those other ones. See, I'm squeezing it. There's no water in here really. I mean, it would make a great wipe at this point. It's like that wet. One of the things I really prefer about these two regular paper towels is they're just really tough. So I waited until I had some serious schmutz in the bottom of my sink here to show you. So I just sprayed this with a little bit of like vinegar water solution that I keep in a bottle. And then I'm going to scrub it. 
and you can't do this with a paper towel, right? I mean, I'm getting my nail in there through the paper towel, trying to get this thing off the bottom. And here's that, but it's completely still solid. I could rinse this out and reuse it. If I did this with a regular paper towel, it would completely disintegrate in my hands. Here's another example. This is a plate that I used last night and I broke my irregular rule and I did not wipe it out last night when it was still wet. So this is all like caked on, dried on grossness. So what I do is I keep a bottle of like 80% water, 20% vinegar just around on the kitchen and I'm gonna spray it on and let it soak for about a minute. By the way, this saves a lot of water when you're doing dishes just to have a little spray bottle like that because I hardly use any water. I also do keep another spray bottle of rubbing alcohol around for things that really you need to cut grease or something like that. I'll spray my dishes out and wipe them with these little paper towels. But here, it's been about a minute, so let me show you um, how great these towels wipe this out. So I have one of my little uh, pockets of paper towel here that has been sitting in my jar ready to go. And I'm just gonna open it up, which I have to put the camera down for um, because it's just me. And um, I'm gonna wipe that thing out, I'll show you. It's open, this is really hard with one hand, you guys. But look, look what this little paper towel can do. It's soaking wet in here and it doesn't break. All it does is clean off the plate. And presto, the plate is totally clean. It took me about five seconds. And, um, you know, I do wash this in a pile of dishes later. I, this is just me wiping it out if anybody's curious. But, I mean, I scrubbed with this thing. It's full of the food particles. And then I just go like this. And then you know what I do? I throw it away or most of the time I dry it out and use it in the fire. Works great. Another thing that I use these little paper towels for constantly is I line a strainer about this big with one and then I pour my leftover food particles in it. Like this is some leftover soup. And if I put that down my sink, it would make my gray tank really disgusting. So when I'm actually rinsing out my food particles out of my bowls, I use this method. So you can see the food particles are stuck in here but they're not going down in the sink. I hope you guys can see that. So, you know, I just let it drain out. I wish you guys could actually see how strong this is. I lift up the edges to get the water going. You could never do this with a regular paper towel. It just doesn't break at all. So you can see the strainer and the sink are pretty clean. All of the stuff is in here, now look. Right, no food particles at all. They're all in here. And did this thing break? No, it's a champ. Look, I'm like pretty much tearing it with my thumb. It doesn't break. I have to tell you guys, I took a break filming this video to go out and have a morning campfire with some friends that I'm with. And I told one of them about this video and she said, oh God, I need those pellets. So I gave her one because she said that she has her paper towels, you know, up on a dispenser. And when she drives, it just unrolls. And every time she looks back in her RV, it's just like, a whole sheet has come off. So with the pellets, that doesn't happen. And also that reminded me that I used to hang my paper towels up like that and the cat would get it. So these are so much better for more reasons than one. You can get the coins. They take a lot less room to store. You can use them for a million different things. They can strain out your dishwater. You can make coffee with them. You can make nut milk. They will scrub anything. You can reuse them. You can dry them out. You can use them as fire starters. And you can pre-moisten them so they're ready to go inside your cabinet without taking up as much room as a paper towel roll. I hope you guys can use this trick. The link for the paper towels is below. And if this was a good video for you, please do like it, share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I wish you all happy travels out there and be free.